at his feet as brass as it were. King of all kings and Lord of lords. Now I want you to I want you to believe God right now. Everybody in this place that has a personal need, a secret need, an open need, a sore, a wound, a hurt, a pain, anything that you need him to help you with, called a struggle of any kind. Whatever it is. I want you to just I want one more verse of that song, Sister Marlowe, just over again. And when we're singing this verse, I want you to, if it's your own body, place your hand where that illness is. Yes. If it's within you, a hurt, an emotional scar, a pain that isn't physical, you can't see it, but you feel it, you know it's there. A loss, a depression. Many people are dealing with depression right now. Depression is a major enemy of the church, a major enemy of people. Whatever it is, as we sing this, you behold his face. Have any of them ever been to Washington, D.C. and seen the, the figure of President Lincoln sitting in the chair? Yes. How many have seen that in the capital of our nation, Washington, D.C.? If you've ever seen it once, it's so awe-inspiring and so majestic. As you look at this great president, so written about, so humble in his origin, one of the greater presidents of our nation. And he's sitting there looking down on you in the white marble of this great chair. I was awestruck by it when I looked at him. Jefferson didn't impress me like he did. Washington didn't impress me, but Lincoln impressed me. And I thought that's only a little bit of the feeling I have when they sing a song like this, and I forget about the wind blowing, and I forget about the temperature, and I forget about my ills, and I forget about my burdens, and my problems, and my stress level, and anything else I'm dealing with. And I'm seeing him sitting there, the mighty king. Praise the name of the Lord. And he said, come unto me, all of you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Did he say it? Did he say it? Do you believe it right now? I want you to go to him, whatever your need is. Don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about how people are watching you. Forget peer pressure. And if you feel like crying, cry. If you feel like lifting your hands and praising him, and if you feel like worshiping God and just letting the tears flow, and we'll watch it. And so tomorrow, if you feel that certain inspiration, sing it the second time. But we'll watch the Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. Because I believe we're here to worship God, don't you? We're an unusual people. We're the children of God. We're different than anybody else. We're the children of God. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. That didn't, that didn't excite you like it did when you were first saved. You need to get back to where you were first saved. And you shout when I said that. I said, we're different. We are the children of God. We are the children of the King. Praise the name of the Lord. You need to get your first love back. Amen. To where you will get excited in the church when the name of Jesus is mentioned. Praise our God. You will just get excited and lift your hands and say, Lord, I know that you love me. I know that you love me. I know that you're my king. Say it, Sister Marla. So exalt. So exalt. If you've got an illness. You've got a need. You need a miracle. You need a sign. You need a wonder. Whatever it is, if it's a passion that's overcoming you, if it's a problem, if it's a hangover, a headache, if it's a habit, you can get that in the blood of Christ right now. Praise the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, so sing it. And let's watch what God will do. Oh, majesty. Hallelujah. 